Welcome into the Chiefs Report. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Thanks to everybody who submitted their questions using hashtag Chiefs. We'll get into the mailbag here in just a sec. But first, I want to tell you about the deal of the day, this Chiefs Against the World t-shirt. Go to this link, chatsports.com slash Chiefs World. Guys, everybody's going to be hunting the Chiefs this year, so it's kind of you guys against the world. So go ahead and get this shirt. Be a part of Chiefs Kingdom at chatsports.com slash Chiefs World. These shirts right now, less than 25 bucks. Not going to find a better price for this exact shirt anywhere else. That link will be in the comments and in the description. Devin Nutter send in a trade idea. Fred Warner for a 2021 first and a 2021 third. I get where you're coming from when it comes to the linebacker position, Devin. Here's the problem. That is an overpay for just about any off-ball linebacker in the National Football League. Even a guy as talented and as productive as Fred Warner. He's a tackling machine. He would come in and easily be the best linebacker on this Chiefs defense. But, again, a first and a third for a off-ball linebacker, they're just not that valuable these days. It, the way you build a defense is getting after the quarterback and being good in the second. Linebacker, if you're average there, you can get by, and that's why the Chiefs were able to last year because their def defensive line was pretty good and their corners played better than expected. I would love to see Fred Warner on this defense. I ain't giving up a first-round pick for him, though, and I'm, not I'm definitely not throwing a third-round pick to get him either. So I always appreciate when you guys send in your trade ideas. This is a bit of an overpay for me, but if you want to send in your trade ideas, I'm down to answer them. Just know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak the truth. If I don't like them, then, you know, that's just how it's going to be. But a lot of you guys come up with some good ones. So I'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. You can just reply back there. If you send in enough good trade ideas, we'll do a video on our next mailbag built around your trade ideas. We'll have a lot of fun. You can go ahead and reply right there. Next up, Mr. Awesome360, if the Chiefs sign someone, who do you think they should sign well i'll first say uh i'll say this cornerback is an area the chiefs need to target because bashad breland's missing four games with the suspension you lost alex brown for the year who was one of your depth corners uh due to a torn acl you're thin there charvarius ward is your only super experienced corner right now rashad fenton played a decent amount last year but not a ton i think he's going to be your starting nickel but ladarius sneed is he ready to, to start on the outside week one I'm not sure. If you want to check out this video I did a couple of days ago when the Breland suspension was announced, I went through three corners the Chiefs could target, plus three more uh, briefly that I consider, but I focused in three guys in particular. You can check that out. That's why we encourage you to subscribe by hitting that big red button because we get you the latest breaking news, rumors, free agent targets, and mailbag videos just like this one. So hit that red button and subscribe. But I, I do think that the quarterback position is an area of concern for me, especially at the first start of, or part of the season without Bashad Breeland. Now, there are other guys out there in other positions that you could go look at. Uh, Jadavion Clowney is still out there. That would be exciting. It would be fun. Uh, I don't think the Chiefs are going to do it, but it would be incredible if they did. Logan Ryan's a nickel guy they could look at. Eric Reed's a solid safety, although they brought in a couple of safeties recently in Tedrick Thompson and uh, Adrian Colbert. And then also Clay Matthews is still out there. Josh Gordon, if you want to add another weapon to this offense. So there's guys out there. I'll leave it up to you guys, though. Name a free agent that Kansas City should sign. Go ahead, spam the comments, let me know. Who do you want the Chiefs to sign before the 2020 season gets going? Next up here is Blake Davis. Let's go get Delaney Walker at tight end. This stemmed from the injury news I told you guys a couple of shows ago. Ricky Seals-Jones got banged up early in training camp with a lower leg injury. Don't think it's super serious, but he's not practicing right now. Dion Yelder has not taken part in a practice yet. And you're probably thinking, you got Travis Kelsey. You don't need another tight end. You need depth. And right now, you got Kelsey and Nick Kaiser. Delaney Walker, hey, yeah, he's 36 years old and he's only played in eight games the past two years, but you bring him in like one year, two million, to be your number two tight end, he could be a red zone threat. That's exciting to me. I actually really like this idea from Blake Davis to bring him in on the cheap. Delaney Walker would love to chase the Super Bowl at this point in his career, in my opinion. You do imagine Travis Kelsey, Delaney Walker, and then Seals Jones as your number three tight end. That's pretty explosive on an offense that's already loaded with speed at wide receiver, the best quarterback in the lead in Patrick Mahomes, and a player in Clyde Edwards-Hilaire that I think is going to be really, really good at the running back position. So, Blake, 
I'm on board. Go get Delaney Walker. Maybe he's holding out for more money, but at this point, 36 years old, maybe he just wants to chase a Super Bowl ring. So should the Chiefs sign Delaney Walker, type Y for yes, type N for no? I say yes, especially if it's very cheap. Now, I'm not going to give him $5 million bucks, but if it's a good deal, I don't see why not. And speaking of a good deal, this Chiefs Against the World t-shirt for $24.99, you're not going to find a better deal out there. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs World. Again, that link is in the comments in the description. I wanted to show you guys this shirt one more time because I already ordered mine. It's a sweet tee. Represent the Chiefs this season because every other fan base is jealous of the Chiefs because Super Bowl champs. You guys know what the deal is. Next up here is Thunderous Grizzly here. Should the Chiefs try to trade Alex Smith and bring him back? I know it's pretty unlikely, uh, but he would be a better backup than what they currently have, blah, blah, blah. It would be a great heartwarming story. But isn't it already a great heartwarming story, right? Like, he came back from a brutal leg injury in which he broke his leg in, like, two places, had 17 surgeries, almost had to get it amputated, and now he's been cleared by Washington. The story is already heartwarming. Like, sure, if he's healthy, is he better than Matt Moore and Chad Henney? Certainly. But he's also 36, and I think he is owed, like, $18 million or something like that. Like, it's not going to happen unless Washington cuts him, which Ron Rivera is saying he could have a chance to compete for the starting job up there. That's the heartwarming story, right? If he were to actually start in Washington, that's the story I'm cheering for. I'm pulling for Alex Smith. He was great with Kansas City. But let's remember, they moved on from him because they brought in some guy named Patrick Mahomes. Like, Alex Smith doesn't want to come back and be his backup at this point. He's hoping to come back and play and be a starter. That's not going to happen in Kansas City. The great story is if he starts in Washington. So what's the first word that comes to mind for when you think of Alex Smith? I mean, competitor, right? Like, how many guys would have had that injury, had 17 surgeries, and try to come back and go back onto a football field? Not very many. This guy is a true competitor. I wish him the best. I hope he can... Uh, you know, get back on the field in Washington, if it's safe, of course, because I still have some concerns. I'm certainly not a medical doctor, but let me know what your one word is. And again, yes, he's better than Matt Moore and Chad Henney. We know that. But like Patrick Mahomes <laughs> is clearly the starter for the next 15 plus years, whatever it's going to be. It doesn't make sense to bring back Alex Smith, especially in a trade. If the, if the Washington football team releases him, that's fine. If, if Andy Reid wants to bring him on board and Smith wants to come back for $1 million or something, cool, I'm on board with that. But I'm cheering for him to start in Washington. I think that would be the great story here, Thunderous. Thanks, you guys, for the questions. I appreciate it. If you want to get on our next mailbag video, use hashtag Chiefs. And as always, please hit that subscribe button. We will see you next time.